Good morning, TRUMC. Welcome to worship on this beautiful Lord's Day. This, in the life of the church, is known as Transfiguration Sunday. This is the Sunday that we remember Jesus on the mountaintop with Peter, James, and John when all of a sudden uh, Jesus was transfigured. Uh, his clothes started glowing bright. Uh, God made an appearance and the disciples heard the voice saying, this is my son, my beloved, and who I am well pleased, listen to him. And Jesus was transfigured before the eyes of the disciples. This is our music Sunday today. Make a joyful noise. And we hope that this transfigures all of us today. Music has the power to do that, especially music when it is sung for the glory of God. Psalm 100 says this, and this is on your trail guide. This is your prayer for this next week, and I want to invite you to take this and use this as your prayer this week, but it begins this way. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. My friends, let us make a joyful noise. That was noisy, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Please stand as you are able. Please join me in the call to worship. Your part is in bold. We are a people who must sing to you for the sake of our very lives. You are a God who must be sung by us for the sake of your majesty and honor. 
And so we thank you for lyrics that push us past our reasons, for melodies that break open our givens, for cadences that locate us home beyond all our safe places, for tones and tunes that open our lives beyond control and our futures beyond despair. We thank you for the long parade of mothers and fathers who have sung you deep and true. We thank you for the good company of artists, poets, musicians, cantors, and instruments that sing for us and with us toward you. We are witnesses to your mercy and splendor. We will not keep silent ever again. Amen. Let us join our voices together in our opening hymn of praise when in our music, God is glorified. welcome you today in the name of Jesus Christ, our light and our life and our song. I want to invite you now, please take a moment of hospitality. Greet those around you the way they wish to be greeted. Friends, again, welcome. It is great to have you all with us together today in our special combined service. My name is Jonathan Tompkins, one of the pastors here, along with Pastor Christine Matthews, and uh, we welcome you warmly today. I want to invite you, uh, if you are here in person, if you would please begin passing the attendance pads. You'll find them on the middle aisle side of your pew. If you mark down that you're here and if you're joining us today for the first time, 
If you give us, give us a way to contact you, we will just contact you later this week with more information about us. Those of you online worshiping with us right now, welcome. And uh, to those who might be online later, welcome as well. We want to know that you are worshiping with us as well. This uh, on the screen here is our digital connect card. You can also go to our website, trmethodist.net. Find our digital connect card. Let us know that you are worshiping with us today too. All people today are part of the TRUMC worshiping family. And we're so grateful you have joined us. Allow me just to live, lift up a few announcements for you. If you have a bulletin, you'll find this on the insert in there. I want to invite you to continue to help lead worship on Sunday mornings. You can sign up all in one place, and we give you the website there uh, that you can go to to sign up. Uh, make a note, please, about our Just Faith group, Faith and Racial Equity. We are changing the night on that. Originally, we had it scheduled for Wednesdays. It's now going to be on Tuesday evenings in March and April. So please continue to sign up for that through this week. They will be meeting starting next, uh, a, a week from this coming Tuesday. Uh, and you'll find Ashley Gutz Chow's information there. You can give aid today to those affected by the recent earthquakes in Syria and Turkey. And you can give through the United Methodist Committee on Relief. And you can give online or you can make a check out today and you'll see the instructions in your bulletin on how to go about doing that. All right, we are a, less than a week away from the season of Lent beginning. Lent is a six-week season here in the church of penitence and repentance, and we begin with Ash Wednesday. Uh, we gave out this uh, Lenten schedule. I hope you all got one along with your bulletin. Please take this home with you and put it up on your fridge so that you won't miss uh, being a part of Lent here this season. Uh, let me just lift up a few things. Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, the 22nd, is Ash Wednesday. We want you to gather as the church in two ways. Uh, at noon, we offer Ashes to Go. That is on Main Street, right next to Sidewall Pizza. Uh, my friends, that is mostly a, what we would, in the church would call an evangel evangelistic effort. That's for people that might not necessarily be in here right now. You are invited, and I want you to be there, but it's mostly for other folks who, out there who might not have a church home yet. What is for you? 6 p.m. We have a worship service here in the sanctuary as Ash Wednesday begins. I would love it if this sanctuary looked exactly like this at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. That would be phenomenal because we've got a great worship service. Uh, and my message that night is titled, It's Me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Friends, where else are you going to hear what Taylor Swift has to do with ashes and repentance <laughs> other than here? We will see you Wednesday evening. Uh, our Lenten studies begin uh, a, week, uh, a week from this week. Uh, you've got many opportunities for those. Uh, in, both are in person on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and, and again on Tuesdays at the Woodlands. Uh, we're offering Lenten prayer services all throughout Lent on Wednesdays. And then we give you the Holy Week schedule as well. Uh, please take this with you. Uh, pray about what uh, God might be calling you to participate in during our Lenten season. We are excited about it. And we are so excited about our special Make a Joyful Noise Music Sunday today. I want to invite our trumpets, our Travelers Rest, United Methodist people eager to sing to come and help us sing along with them.
some of you might remember that this came from a commercial <laughs> in 1971. Ooh, okay. And the trumpets now would like for you to join them in this song. And uh, the motions are optional. my friends. Wonderful job. I want to invite our scripture readers now to please come forward. And as they are coming, the scripture will be on the screen for us. It is also on the back of your bulletin on the trail guide, so we all can follow along. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise God in his fortress, the sky. Praise God in his mighty acts. Praise God as suits his incredible greatness. Praise God with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise God with the lute and lyre. Praise God with the drum and dance. Praise God with the strings and pipe. Praise God with the loud cymbals. Praise God with the clashing cymbals. Let every living thing praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, you will go out with celebration, and you will be brought back in peace. Even the mountains and the hills will burst into song before you. All the trees of the field will clap in their hands. I'm bursting with God news. I'm dancing the song of my Savior God. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Praise to all men and women on earth who please him. Ephesians 5, 19. Um, talk to each other in psalms and hymns and in spiritual songs. Sing and make music unto the Lord in your hearts. And the word was life. And the life is the life for all people. Amen. Bye. 
and the children might be cranky, but I will be going to church on Sunday. Don't know who is preaching, doesn't matter. The sermon may be helpful or not, holds my attention or doesn't. It's the singing. I go to sing. I get up, get clean, get dressed, possibly get mad at not ready kids, at empty coffee pot, at traffic. Get going. Get there. Get seated. Get comfortable. Get focused. When the music starts, get saved. <laughs> Amen. Amen.
Jesus lost, but he brought me in his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun sets free, always oh, free indeed. I'm a child of God, yes I am. In my Father's house, there's a place. died for me. Yes, he died for me. Who the sun sets free, always oh, free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. In my Father's house, there's a Today, we begin by singing together a song of Taizé. Uh, maybe you've heard of Taizé before. Taizé is a monastery in France, and they, uh, they sing in a style that is uh, short, repetitive, meditative, prayerful. And these songs are designed to be easily memorized, easily sung, and sung over and over and over so that they put us into a meditative, prayerful state. And so this song that we're going to sing today for our prayer is, O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. Let's keep on singing. Oh Lord, hear my prayer.
respond to that beautiful music, that beautiful time of prayer by giving back to God what has already been giving to, given to us. We have been blessed. Now let us be a blessing to others through the gifts of our tithes and offerings. Remember how you told me that life may not be easy, and everything that I need, you've already given me. I remember how you told me I can trust you.
It's the singing. I go to sing. It's the willingness to stand if you are able. The common agreement on page number. The voluntary sharing of songbooks with people on your row. Even the ones you rode here with. But most of all, it's the collective in-breath before the first sound is made. The collective drawing upon the grace of God. The collective, if inadvertent, admission that we are all human, all fragile, all in need of the sustaining air freely dispensed, all in need of each other to get the key right and not sound discordant. It's the hidden life celebration and the act of making a joyful noise all together. to sound that good. <laughs> Singing together still brings home the we-ness of worship, the not-aloneness of life in God, the best of all we have to offer each other. When we are singing, I think that I might actually be able to forgive you for being so terribly human. And you might be able to forgive me for being so terribly not there yet. And we might be able to find peace now, not postpone it for some heavenly hereafter, 
but live and breathe it today, drawing in the grace of God, voicing out our need and hope and gratitude and longing. get to be a part of it, you do too. So sing with me, and we'll make our way down that blessed road together, collectively better than we ever thought possible. Sing with me. Sing with me. Sing with me. <laughs>
we're going out on that. <laughs> My friends, uh, I want to invite all of our musicians and our instrumentalists to just please hang out in this general vicinity. I know your church family is going to want to come and express their thanks for what a wonderful Make a Joyful Noise Music Sunday. Friends, as we go from this place, how can we keep from singing? Amen. Amen.